Hopefully you can still hear this. We are gonna work on making a uh, Holzhausen, the Germanic wood stack, the ultimate wood stack power level. You can see at the base I have split logs going in a circle and it's up on pallets. The pallets were leveled out beforehand. As we work our way up the stack, we put the fat ends of every log out and the skinny end in. You want the angle of all the wood to be facing in. It's tough to maintain that, so it takes a lot of effort. Every three feet or so, we do cross braces. You see the cross braces here. I do the cross braces in an X pattern. And then the center of each stack is filled with loose, odd shaped odds and ends. As I build this stack taller, I'll keep demonstrating the basic principles of how we build it up. Okay, so I've got this stack stacked up now about close to six feet high. At this point, we need to stop and we need to brace it and we need to fill in the interior. So the first thing I'm going to do is to fill in the interior. So first I'll show you what the interior looks like prior to being filled in. And I'll fill it and then I'll show the after shot. So this is the top view of the holes housing and hopefully you can see the inside is hollow so i have to fill that in with rough wood and then we'll put bracing on next so here we go so as you can see i have the center filled in and braced with rough cut branches i cut off the spruce trees in order to make the space for the stack at this point, I'm not going to build it much higher, but I'm going to change the angle, try to flatten out things and eventually build a mound in the center, and then we'll put the roof on. But first I need to flatten out the top angle and then start to mound up the center. Okay, so I've got the first layer of the roof on. As you can see, we're using half round logs with the bark on, the bark side goes up. On the edge around the sides, we overlap the logs a few inches and we have everything angled down out of the stack instead of angled in as we did before. So we've changed the angle of the logs and we're making sure we're using basically only half rounds with bark on. And I'm gonna keep working the uh, roof up and I'll show you in a minute here. This is the fully completed roof of the Holzhausen wood pile. As you can see, you work from the edge inward. As you go in, you keep moving in each tier of logs somewhere between say two to eight inches until you work your way all the way to the top and you have the whole thing covered. Your half round logs then work as shingles. The water rolls off and your wood stack stays really dry. You don't ever need to cover it with a tarp or anything else because you've covered it with the wood itself. Because the wood stays so dry, the bark stays on for a long time, longer than a typical type wood pile, keeping it dry for a long time. And the pieces of wood stay together through a combination of gravity and friction, and I haven't found that they blow away. This is a pretty tall stack. I think we are approaching about 10 feet on this one. So let's look down here. It's a nice tall one. Right, we'll climb off the ladder here momentarily and we'll get a shot of this stack in the one I built last year. Here's a view of the stack I built last year has held up perfectly. And it's been up for a year, rain, wind, everything and it's still in good shape. Okay, so here's another view of this one that I built today. It took me about two hours to build this one. Uh, this is a nice one. It's uh, about 10 feet tall. And at the base, it's about six feet wide. This is a lot of wood. The lower section is entirely ash, a much lighter colored wood. 
And as we work our way up, it's a mixture of locust, cherry, and ash. And this is the Holzhausen wood pile I built last year. This was my first attempt at making them. And I made a mistake and on the bottom, when I made the first tier, I just used these scrap one by two stakes. And that was definitely a mistake. It made it very difficult to keep the logs angled facing inwards. I should have used actual split firewood. And that's what I did on my second one. The second one I was able to put up in about two hours. This first one took me eight hours and about three attempts to get it to stay together. But once I got it right, it has stayed together well. And this wood is very dry, very, very clean. It's held up to tremendous wind, rain, and kids climbing on it. And it's, uh, it's held up. This thing is, it's very solid. Once you get these things built, they're not going anywhere. I thought this was really cool. I was looking at my old Holzhausen. This one is all ash wood. I found this little bird nest here. Some birds had made a nest in the stack, which I think is really great. So you might be asking yourself why you should bother building a wood pile like this. There are several reasons. First, once you get good at building them, you can build a huge wood pile very quickly, much faster than you can build any traditional type of wood pile. The main reason for that is that you don't have to worry about finding spots for your irregular pieces of wood. The irregular pieces can all go in the middle and they don't need to be stacked, they're just thrown in loose. Second, it gives you a way to utilize all of your regular pieces, small pieces, kindling, bark chunks, etc. And you can still stack the wood neatly. Third, this circle tower is utilizing principles of design architecture that it's self-supporting and self-strengthening so that you don't really have to worry about these things falling down on you if they're built properly. Fourth, you never have to cover them with a tarp or anything else. You don't have to keep them inside or in a woodshed because they are keep themselves dry. Fifth, there's a chimney effect created by building it this way that actually dries and seasons the wood faster and should they get wet, the wood itself dries out faster. Sixth, you can fit an enormous amount of wood in a very small footprint, a very small square footage. And that's actually the reason why I went to this system is that I had so much wood stacked up places, I was running out of places to keep it. And I didn't want to allot any more space for wood storage than what I had already allotted. So. This is enabling me to put far more wood in the same space than what I was doing when I was stacking wood in the more traditional square, rectangular type of uh, wood stacks. So, you know, finally, I think they just look great. They're uh, sort of a work of art and a piece of personal pride, conversation piece. And I just like the way they, they look a lot. So this is the Holzhausen wood stack. So hopefully you get an understanding now of how to build one and you can try building one yourself. And I think once you figure out how to make them properly, you'll switch to this system. It's a superior system for wood stacking and wood storage.